Greetings everyone. This is a quick down to dirty video uh, to showcase the new ESU58741 V5 Kato USA board that is designed to fit in a variety of in-scale locomotives. Uh, in this case we have it fitted into a Kato SD40-2 mid, or actually a bunch of them. Um, the board looks like this, takes the place of the stock light board with minimal modifications to the model. In the case of the SD40-2, you will absolutely have to do a little bit of work in order to make it fit. This is a frame set from SD40-2 mid that has had the rear, I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand, that's had the rear section machined out and then deburred. That way we could fit a speaker in there. In this case, a this is a Silvertron SP1508 speaker with a 3D printed housing that uh, I printed the housing. Um, not sure where you'd find those speakers right now as with the global situation, they are out of stock virtually everywhere. I've got some, but how long that'll last, who knows. Um, this is what the mechanism looks like internally with the board fitted. Uh, I've reused the original motor clips on there. And we've isolated the frame against the board with some Kepton tape. And then that speaker is fitted in the back. You need that cut in there because inside of the shell, the rear uh, light bar will also interfere with the fit. And also if that speaker is too high, you won't see the rear uh, surface mount LED shine through there. All right, with that said, without further ado, let's fire this guy up. So. Okay. Turn that bell off because, well, that's just kind of annoying for right now. As it goes through the start of sequence. Sound file in here is, uh, S0508, which is an EMD 16 cylinder 645 turbo prime mover, which is correct for an SD40 2. So let us start right away. There we have the Kato SD40-2 mid-production SD40-2 fitted with the new ESU58741 board. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Other than that, have a great day.